There you are. How did you... What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder... Follow my lead. All is in place. The port key is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We will... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Ragum's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you did I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful.
Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Jealous. Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain... expectations. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm, I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm, what is it? A sense of adventure? I like to think that I'm not afraid of anything. Hmm, oh, but you're brave at heart. 
exceptionally daring, undaunted by the unknown, willing to forge ahead alone when you must. Perhaps you belong in Gryffindor. Better be Gryffindor! Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's most uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. This should be quite an adventure. I'm looking forward to it. I remember the first time I entered the Gryffindor common room after being sorted. You were a Gryffindor? I am a Gryffindor. Never could remember the password when I was a girl, however. Password? Password? The password is Grata Domum. Grata Domum. You may enter. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Well, hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy on the PlayStation 5. And here we are with episode two, Betty's first day at Hogwarts. That's right. It's my mom's first day in the most legendary wizardry school in the world. So grab a lap of mom and let's head on down to the common room. Which way is the common This room? game is absolutely beautiful. Look at it. There's so much to see. I mean, just look at the surroundings. It's just stunning. I can't wait to fully explore this game. Today, we're just getting our bearings in Hogwarts. I mean, this is just like a dream come true, you know? Must be. Listening to all the students That's chatting Hogwarts away and getting to know everyone. And here we are in the common room. So let's get ourselves acquainted, shall we? Hello. Who doesn't know she gets older every year. I hope the professor catches her this time. <laughs> Why is everyone so highly strung? It's perfectly safe. <laughs> well, hello. Don't mind me. I find it helpful to change my point of view now and again. Put things in perspective. Once I made it to the top of Gryffindor Tower, from the outside, without a broom. Goodness. <laughs> I 
I'm Nellie, by the way. Nellie Ogspire. I've heard rumors about what happened to you on your way to Hogwarts. Is it true? About the dragon? Yes, our carriage was attacked by a dragon. Crikey! I can't believe it. How thrilling! And also terrifying. Anyway, you've certainly brought some much needed excitement to Gryffindor. And Hogwarts, for that matter. I'm sure I'll be seeing you around, either in our common room or when you scale your next tower. You never know. Bye for now. in there as well. Smell. There's always someone snoring in our dormitory. One of the girls, too. And she talks in her sleep. I've taken to study oh, the day in our day. Perhaps I should. No one's there and I can't <sighs> my car to my heart's content. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's not a complicated spell. I should be able to do it non-verbally. Why is this not working? Ugh! Oh, hello there. Welcome to Gryffindor. I'm Cressida. Pleasure to meet you, Cressida. Splendidly theatrical arrival to the sorting ceremony last evening. Made it in by the skin of your teeth. Is it true that you're Professor Fig's protégé? I'm not sure I'd say that, but I did study with him a little before we arrived. Blast! I was hoping he might have given you some advice on non-verbal casting. Is that what you were trying to do just there? Oh, yes. Having a spot of trouble. I've mastered the charm using its incantation, but this is proving a bit trickier. Don't worry, you'll get it in the end. Oh, I hope so. If I can get it, Professor Ronan's sure to be very impressed. I'm just going to keep at it. Well, good luck with it. It was nice to meet you, Cressida. You as well. Enjoy your first day. I would really like someone to try it. Sure you don't want to try it? Brewed it myself. Hello. You're the new fifth year. Pleased to meet you. I'm Gareth Weasley. Heard about your travels here. Can't believe it. Glad you and Fig are all right. Is it true that someone from the Ministry was with you in the carriage? Oh, uh, yes. A friend of Professor Fig's. Oh, didn't mean to pry. Nasty business, dragons. Again, very glad you're here. Thank you, Gareth. So am I. Are you related to Professor Weasley? I am. She's my aunt. Must be nice having an aunt for a professor. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Aunt Matilda tends to treat me as if I'm a first year. Keeps too close an eye on me. It's all a bit suffocating, to be honest. Still, she means well. And she's an incredibly powerful witch. She'll have your back. Well, it was nice meeting you, Gareth. And thank you for the insights on your aunt. Pleasure to meet you as well. Good luck today. New Gryffindor, Professor Weasley's waiting for you outside the common room. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are.
What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up! Ah, the guide appears to have some information for you about that painting of poor Barufio. Simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. Revelio. open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. No time to waste, you've classes to attend. Ah, good timing opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. 
You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? Yes, sir. But I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Well, that was very interesting. Eye-opening. So, let's have a look around Hogwarts. Why don't we take a trip outside and have a look out in the grounds? And here we are. You know, it's funnily enough that a lot of the outdoors Hogwarts stuff was actually filmed in a village near where I live here in the UK in a place called Laycock, a little village. And that's where all the um, Hogwarts scenes uh, when they were on the grounds, specifically in the first film with Zoe Wanamaker as the teacher when they were learning how to ride uh, the brooms. That was all done in the grounds in Laycock Abbey. And it's absolutely stunning. And a lot of the parts where they're going through some of the old cascades through the Abbey and stuff, it's, it's all done there. So yeah, my God, look at this game. It is truly beautiful to look at, it really is. I and mean, the, the work that I must have gone into just making this world, making Hogwarts school, look at it, it's 
unbelievable. Even the architecture, just looking at it. It's crazy how we've got to this level of detail now in video games. All right, let's follow the indicator up there. And let's do our first quest. And this should be very interesting. Got. Uh, Never soul. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin okay. with the basic cast. The basic cast. Now, we've done this before. See how the dummy deflects your, your cast. Deflects your cast. Okay, I get this. this. Yeah, we did that before. Levioso, first, Levioso. Then the basic cast. Okay. Remember, this is familiar ground, boys and girls. We can do this. Opponent, okay. So, so we must activate the spell by going straight into it like that. Levioso. And there you go. Now, and then they're levitating with Levioso, and then we hit it with, I'm assuming, not just a circle, but we go straight into it holding R2, and then like that. Yeah, I got it. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Oh, this is awesome, man. Okay. <laughs> Levitation. Oh, good form. Yes, we got it. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Okay, I get it now. I get, I get the attack forms. Okay. So I take he's going to attack back. And, oh, yes. Deflection. Perfect. Okay, we've got it now. Whoa, okay, he's got me. Alright. Whoa. Okay, okay. Gotta learn how to deflect, which I know I can do. It's just getting the timing right. Oh, this is so much fun. This is so, so much fun. There you go. I got you now, boy. That's it. Don't mess with the girls. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Thank you, Professor Heckert. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, 
and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way, didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. Hmm. Leveling up, I see. I'm not sure I quite trust him, that Sebastian. Sebastian Salloway, I'm getting hints of a certain other blonde headed baddie from the Harry Potter universe. Yes. Right, okay, let's make our way to charm classes. Now, I've always said that, travel that was really good fun. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> That was a good little quest. Guys, this is going to be so much fun being at Hogwarts. And if you guys get this game, let me know what you've been doing at Hogwarts. I know my good friend Matthew Berg is playing this at the moment as well. But there's just so much to see. Like spirits over there. Which reminds me of John Cleese from the first movie. Okay, now, which way are we going to go? Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, I shall lead you to your... Where's and do's. I'm going to carry on it this way. See if we can find our way to the class. You know, we're finding our way around at the moment. Uh, I'm following it up this way. I should be this way, at least. I love looking at all the, just the bits and pieces around here. You know, all the all the statues and the the moving pictures. And oh, hello! It's a pussycat. Hello. Let's go over and say hello, shall we? Meow. Hello. I believe there's lots of pussycats around here, so we shall uh, endeavour to see them all. Oh yes. Right. Now, what's the quickest way to get there? Is it this way? Or... Do you know what? I think I shall go back the way we came because I think if we carry on up, oh, hello, it's ghosts. I believe if we carry on up, we should get there quicker. I don't want to detract from our path. And we want to get to our charm class as quickly as possible. Okay. Uh, are we getting anywhere near there now? What's down here? I doubt it's down here. Hmm, what's down here? Well, at least we're discovering different areas. That's the most important thing. Professor Fig's classroom. Ah, okay. Well, we should endeavour to remember that for future reference. I think it might be back up this way, actually. God, it's vast, Hogwarts. It really is. I think we'll go up here. 
Ah, there we go. There's a staircase, so that should take us up to the next level. We should be getting close now. Oh, I'm sorry. Watch out with your books. Well, we're doing well, Mom. I think we've just found the charm class. There we go, Mom. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the lesson. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Ah. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Very simply, cast okay. Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm. Cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Okay, grab hold of it and pull the ball towards you. Oh. Okay, I will. I'll stay focused. Come on, Mom, we can do this. Let's do it with this one. Come on. There we pull it back. And what have we got? We've got 30 points. Okay. I've got this. Let's pull that there. And we've dropped it off again. Very good. Points to Gryffindor. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. 
You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay. We can do this. Here we go. go ahead, Natsai. Let's see what you get first. Yes. Okay, 30 points. Let's see if we can beat that with our first ball. Akio. Oh, yes. Look at that. 50 points. That's what I'm let's talking see. about. Thank you, Professor Ronin. Okay, let's see what she gets on a second go. Ooh, oh, she's got 50 points as well. So that, that puts her at 80. Done. Okay. Let's go over here a minute and grab that middle ball and see if we can get another 50. Come on. Oh, yes. Look at mom looking very pleased with herself there. 100 points. Come on, that's a. Let's see what you get. Ooh. She's got 130. Okay, it's down to this. I think if we get the 50, yeah, we've won it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Go on, Mum. A perfect Remarkable. score. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. <laughs> I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Here we go. Ooh. That was good. Well done, Natsai. Okay. Natsai's got 30, so let's try and grab this to get ahead. Come on, come on. Oh, no. Oh. Yes, you're right. I shouldn't lose my composure, Professor Ronin. Oh, no. I think that might have just taken us in that side. Oh, yeah. And she's got 50 as well on a second go. Uh, I think she might have won this. Never mind. Okay. I really messed it up with that first shot. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, yes. Okay. We got 50. Uh, yeah, if she gets this, I think she may have won. Ooh. She's got a 110. Yeah, we can't win this. Oh, well, never mind. Let's do our best. Oh. Come on. Oh. Ooh, it nearly fell off. But oh, we were only 10 points behind. Never mind. Very good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Well, it's been nice talking and competing with you. And with you. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. Well... You'd be using it on clothing, to be precise, Sebastian. You know it won't work. A word, hands. if you would. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? 
Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Hogwarts Legacy with my mom. Until next time, peace out.